King deciding the pass down the Reavers, who gets the contact and one. And, and it's a great balance, great shoulder strength there to go through the body. Just coming off a loss against New Mexico, lost that one 93 to 78. But they've played a couple of Big Ten teams. There's a first bucket for four. It's one of the big storylines. This Wisconsin team without Ethan Happ here this year. And the three, they size it up for Brad Davison. What a start for Wisconsin. Eight nothing for the Badger. Hankerson. One of the players connected with Trevor Anderson, of course, the transfer now playing on the Wisconsin side, played for Green Bay for a year, and King fills it up. The first personal there on the cloud for Green Bay, and they leave Reavers open for three. He hits. The big fella says, don't let me out there too far. I'm going to knock it down every time. Short three-point attempt, and Green Bay now on the push. McLeod out to McNair, and that's exactly what the Phoenix want to do. They want to push, push for the last six days. That's kind of been the Phoenix storyline here. They haven't been a full complete team you got to go back to june when they yeah. practice as a, as a full roster they've had five days nine on the shot clock now for davison see what he can do he pulls and fires from distance and connects that's one of those clips that you watch the next day stuck on the top brad davison just made a better play Two of three from back there. Two of the four three-point makes here for Wisconsin. Actually, there was a lot of ball screen action within this Wisconsin offense, and I think that's been the difference. You see the ball moving a little bit, and Demetrik has to try to find a little bit where to get. Our team needs one. I'm going to get a basket, Brad Davidson says. It's the freshman up against Davison, so now back-to-back -back buckets for Amari Davis. If you're a Badger fan, you better get used to seeing it because that is the way the kid plays, and he fits what Wisconsin basketball is all about. Three that offensive fits too. boards will lead to that in the Pritzel three. Picking up a couple of fouls. One of their best scorers here on the team. Ford with the turnaround, nicely done. Great patience. Junior class, really the first full true recruiting class here for Link Darner. They have a couple of junior college transfers. Oh, Davison, a four-point play, but he's hurt. Half where Wisconsin has put up 48, looking to add to it. Trice, thinking about it, he'll pass it up. Pritzel will fire. Off the glass, they count it. They will review it, but as of now, you can give the three to Brevin Pritzel. That's all. That's a little trick you got to learn. Trice for three, and that's been the kind of night for the Patchers. Here for Wisconsin, and even though he wants to play, I still believe Greg Gard's got to be a little bit careful and talk about early in the season with his leader and his terms of getting numbers back defensively. Green Bay hasn't had many easy buckets in the first half. There's the kick out to P.J. Pipes for three. P.J. Pipes has stepped up 17 points in the last couple of games. How about that? Reavers with the cleanup job. It's every part of the room for two. There's a flash from Reavers. Instead, that's an impressive move. Tuck, you know, still has that player in him, and there might have been a little bit of conversation as I was watching the game. I said, that's the Tuck I know. So. <laughs> Backdoor look, and the flush for Tyler Wall. Obviously, this is a little bit of an exaggeration of how good they are. As you see the school record of 17. They're shooting lights out tonight. But just the ability to shoot the basketball has been uh, fantastic for this team. A little bit of sloppy play here back and forth between these two teams. The last couple of possessions. Here's the takeaway for Green Bay. McLeod leading it, trying to do the Euro step up and over, taking tries to school a little bit. He's got 13. We all want to reach. We all want to grab. And, and it all comes with our hands. But that's when you get the tic-tac fouls. Trice will pull and fire. Oh, the three-point shot has been kind for the Badgers. Third straight game, though, with double-digit three-point makes for Wisconsin as a team. Ford gets it blocked. Impressive coming over Josh McNair. Well, and that's the exciting part. You just look at that slate that has Saturday football. It's full of great games, especially Big Ten. Great move there by Kobe. What kind of Wisconsin basketball. We're seeing that a lot with a lot of Big Ten teams, though, throughout the year so far. And I think, you know, having that balance is so crucial in having success in the Big Ten. Shot clock still in play. A two-second differential between game and shot clock. Here is Pritzel. Rebound and put back in the first bucket for Joe Hedstrom. career points there for Headstrom in the final few seconds of this one.